Hey there guys, WolfTM2008 here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can get back some order to your desktop. Isn't it annoying when you've connected to an external display or you've had children, younger siblings messing about on your computer and all your icons are messed up? I'm going to show you a cool piece of software that will let you put them back to how you want them to look. So the first thing you want to do is go to your web browser and go to the following web address. This will be in the video description just below this video. If you're watching on a um, mobile device, get yourself on a computer, it'll be easier for you to look at. So a piece of software is called Icon Restorer. And what it does is it takes a screenshot of your desktop layout and it saves it for later when you can restore it. Now there's two versions to this. There is the standard version and the supporters version. The supporters version you have to donate a minimal, and I really do mean minimal, amount of money in various currencies of your choosing, depending on your location of course. And that allows you to have access to the supporters version. Now main difference between the standard version and the supporters version is that the standard version will only let you save two different layouts whereas the supporters version will let you store 20 and upwards okay so just bear that in mind okay so what you need to do is download it now I've already downloaded it so I'm not going to let it complete because I've got the um, well it's completed anyway but I've got the um, supporters version installed the uh, difference is as you can see one says PE and one is by FSL which is soft free soft land and the other just says the same thing but without the PE so I already have it installed but once you've downloaded it, run the installation, it's very quick and simple. So that's it for your web browser now, you can get rid of that. So now let's go and have a look at the piece of software. It will ask you if you want to create a desktop shortcut, I didn't, so I got rid of it. So it says some basic information, your primary screen resolution, OS and 32 or 64 bit. Now, we'll just go through these you can look at these at your own leisure these are the most important ones option one so you can either have it to start when Windows starts which I don't because it takes up a bit of memory and it will also take a look, bit longer to load up everything else and you can also have it to remember your wallpaper as well which is a good thing so I'm gonna just do manual actions and this is going to be YouTube test. I'm just going to put today's date in. Okay, so it's going to take a nice snapshot of that. So it's been saved. Now if I just close this, I just rearrange some of my icons move them around, you know, where they're not meant to be, frustrating. So, as you can see, that nice, organized desktop we had is now lost. So if we bring up the software, and we can either go on layouts and choose from the various layouts that you have, or you can do manual actions and to restore the last saved desktop layout. So I'm going to do it in layouts and I want to restore YouTube test, restore the selected layout, confirm you can have this message up, but I do think it is advantageous to keep it there just in case you make a mistake. So I'll run it and then magical. It has refreshed itself and put itself back to normal. One thing I will say is you have an option in here to refresh icons after restore 
it's okay doing this but some pieces of software have a tendency to lose the image particularly Malwarebytes, Camtasia I do believe I lost Team Viewer, WinX DVD Ripper and Wireshark as well. So just bear that in mind. So yeah, I really do suggest that you go down it to them. This is a cracking piece of software and they also have other software that is available on their website. If you are using a antivirus product called Sophos, you may not be able to access this site depending on your settings due to the fact that um, Sophos blocks this but it is nothing to be alarmed at, it is a false positive result due to the website where this site is hosted on. So my name is WolfTM2008, if you have enjoyed this video and this software is going to help you please give me a like comment and subscribe if you already haven't a massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed to me we are now over 500 subscribers a massive thank you also to the people on facebook who have liked my page go check it out it's wolf tm 2008 channel just got 100 likes on that and also i am now able to start monetizing my videos so i can get a little bit of income so if you have any ad blocking software, um, just disable it for a few moments so you can uh, help me help my channel and help you guys for me to make more videos for you. Okay, until next time guys, it's bye bye. <laughs>